Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're going to be plugging in the exact same filters into Helium 10 and Jungle Scout, or at least as close as we can get. They have slightly different filters, but just seeing what those results would look like. This is just a fun idea that I had. I wanted to see what would happen. I actually haven't done it yet. We're going to do it together for the first time. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, be sure to stick around to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so we're going to start with Black Box by Helium 10. We're going to go to keywords, and this is the one that I want to use because I think we could get this a little closer. So we'll do 1,000 to 8,000 search volume. We'll do units sold because I think we could get that closer. We'll do 200 to 500. The price, let's do 30 to 60. Review count. This is where it's going to get a little hard. If we look at Jungle Scout's setup. We go down to opportunity finder. We don't really have a review count. We just have kind of like a competition slider, but that's okay. So we'll say low competition. I'd imagine that probably assumes from like 25 to a hundred, maybe I'm guessing that's probably what it's doing. And then review rating. We're not going to touch word count. We are not going to touch categories. We will do, we'll do to keep it simple. We'll just do a couple so that we could see how they kind of cross populate. We'll do home and kitchen, office products, arts, crafts, and sewing, and maybe tools and home improvement. That sounds good. And then that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. So now let's just go fill out. Uh, we could actually hit search on this and we'll fill out Jungle Scout in the meantime. So we did arts, crafts, and sewing, home and kitchen, office products, tools, and home improvement, monthly units sold. We said 200 to 500. We did 30 to 60 search volume. We did a thousand to 5,000 competition. We're going to do low again. This is not a review slider. That might be nice if it was actually, but it's not. And then niche score, we're not going to touch. So we'll go ahead and hit search on that. Now they each have their own way of populating these results. First thing you're going to notice right away, 200 plus products found. And then how many pages do we have? 10 plus pages. Here, we actually have 226 results, two pages, but it's showing 200 results per page. Um, it's the only major difference I see right now. And then this is gonna sort by niche score. So it's not like they're gonna look perfect right away. Sometimes what I actually like to do is sort that backwards. I've been a long time uh, proponent for not using niche score. I I don't I don't think it's uh, the best judgment, right? Cuz like a Christmas product should not be a 9. I get why it is, but that's extremely misleading cuz if we were to try and sell that right now, it wouldn't work well. Um so let's get into this. We have we'll just go through them one at a time and then we'll see what the kind of like what the same results are throughout. So we'll look for a couple good ones in here and we'll just try and see like what gives us the better results, I guess. Um, we're going to look through here. So we're on page two. How many is this showing per page? I don't know. Looks like 25 maybe. A lot of Christmas stuff. So when you're using anything, any kind of product research tool, just be careful. Um, you can avoid it very easily if you know that you shouldn't be selling Christmas products. Some people don't know that they shouldn't. Um, very new sellers might not know that. So I'm here to explain that to you. Spec Ops Tools. That sounds cool. Sounds real cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll keep looking though. Spec Ops Tools. Deer, yeah, again, decorations. A lot of decorations. I'm seeing a ton of Christmas stuff, which was expected. Expected keep going through here and we'll just go through here a little bit more. We'll try and pull maybe three of the best ideas from each. Um, hopefully we could get more than that. But we'll, we'll just start there. Okay. Plastic dividers for desk. I'm guessing that's like the ones for school, but we'll check it out. It might be a little COVID related. Anything that says dividers really hexagon wall lights. Don't really want to sell lights. So I am seeing a massive amount of Christmas products. Granted, Home and kitchen is going to be a great spot to see that. One thing that you can do to avoid this, actually, if we do exclude Christmas, 
light, lights. Just a quick tip for getting rid of some of the results that you keep seeing. If we do that, you can see it actually comes down quite a bit. <laughs> now we still have things like reindeer that's kind of unavoidable. Um, there's wreaths slipping through, but at least it's not as prominent. Um, so we'll come through here. Okay, I mean, I've looked through here a good amount. I've actually gotten to page five, I think, before I switched over to not having Christmas in the titles and then it reset. But I really don't see too many ideas here um, that I would pursue just looking at things. A lot of Christmas stuff. And again, this would change if you selected different categories. So I, I selected home and kitchen. We could easily just deselect home and kitchen and select a different one in place of that. Um, and that would be absolutely okay. You'd probably have less Christmas results. But just for the sake of what we put in, let's just go see what Jungle Scott is saying because that's kind of the point of this video. All right, so one funny thing that I'm seeing here is this hexagon wall lights. We didn't look at that on Helium 10. I'm kind of curious now, that was a consistent result from both, um, which I would imagine there should be some consistencies through here. So if we keep looking through here, square hole drill bit, that's one that I would probably be interested in that I didn't see on the other one. Um, and this is actually what I was saying about the niche score. See how when we sorted it backwards, fives and sixes, these are way better ideas than the nines that are all Christmas products. So I kind of like that feature. So right away, one thing that I'm noticing, um, I do like this layout of seeing more ideas at once. Um, I don't necessarily need a column that's three of these wide for one idea and just looking at six of them at a time because I like to look at a lot at once. Um, and the differences between the products seem quite a bit different. We go from string art kit to Zen garden to outdoor to rockets to traffic light lamps to dandelion. See what I'm saying? I, I just, I, I like um, the results better. That's just my honest feedback right now. Uh, that's all that the point of this video was to just try both, see what the commonalities were, see what I like better. Um, and right now I'm definitely liking this a little bit better. I've always said that. I do like Jungle Scout's product research tools. They're absolutely great. Um, classics, right? They've been around forever. I think they've really got this part of software down. Uh, looking for products, um, definitely always my go-to. So yeah, I like a lot of these. And this is, this is like my favorite product research method, looking for keywords that have search volume. So right away, what this allows us to do both tools, either one. We know that this, that this has this amount of search volume already. So we already know there's customers looking for this product. They're searching this specific term. And sometimes what will happen is they'll give away exactly what they want with the search term, right? So like, this is an interesting one, pink Picasso paint by numbers for adults. So if we go look at that and there's one or two pink ones and the whole rest of the page is different colors, we know, hey, there's a 1100 customers every single month that are unsatisfied with those results. That allows us to insert ourselves into that market um, very tactically. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. It, it shouldn't take much longer than that. You could actually go look at some of the things that I pulled up or go use some of the filters that I used and go see what you can find. I'd be interested in seeing if we had a couple hundred people do this in the comments, how the results would turn out. Do you see things that are very similar or very different. In my case, I see a lot of things that are very different with the Jungle Scout one than the Helium 10 one. Um, I think we got a similar number of results. They're both right around that 200 range, but it seems like I'm getting more from other categories here. I'm getting more tools and home improvement um, and arts, crafts and sewing, whereas I feel like I was just getting all the Christmas ones. I don't know why that is. Maybe I did something wrong, but hey, that's the video. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you here on the channel when I see you for another video. <laughs> see you next time. Later.